Welcome to today's shoebox floppy. Well, two shoebox floppies today. I have this uh, double density disc with seemingly a lot on it and this high density disc. Now I suspect this one will have a lot of errors because these old double density discs seem to fail a lot. So that's why I've got two. So join me as I find out just what the hell is on my discs. Welcome again to the DOS prompt, and I invite you to regress your mind back to the early 90s when you had no worries, no responsibilities, just a flashing DOS prompt on your 386 in the corner of your bedroom, and a cup of tea ready to go. And from that state of mind, I'd like you to join me as we look at the first disc, and this is the double density disc which seemingly had a lot of stuff on it, including Hyper CD, Sky Globe, Icon Is, Mouse Warp, Pair My Icons, Melt Screen, Win Magic, Smear, Win Fast. But I could only extract these two files from it. The rest were corrupted to absolute buggery. So let's uh, see what's in these zip files. So, okay, that's a screensaver, and uh, odometer is a program. So, first look, let's look at uh, odometer.txt, see if we can work out what's going on here. Ever wonder how much mileage your mouse accumulates? The mouse odometer keeps track of how fast the mouse cut, how far the mouse cursor moves, and allows you to relate that to how far you can actually move the mouse on your desk. <laughs> Excellent. Is this a Windows program? Uh, let's find out. Odometer. Ah, Windows. Okay, so let's first boot into Windows. Microsoft Windows 3.11 once again. Okay, so let me navigate to what we had there. So, odometer, let's kick it up. And, yeah, it actually tracks how many pixels your mouth... Mouth? Your mouse is moving <laughs> through your Windows desktop. Um, preferences? Measured in pixels. Okay, let's measure it in miles. 0 0.001 miles. Come on, let's get 0 0.002. You're going to have to use a lot of mouse movement to get anything significant on here. That is amazing. Let's see who this is by. Toggle Booleans. Mouse odometer is freeware. Yay, 1992. Excellent. There we go. Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. Excellent stuff. What a program. This is one of those things I probably had open on my screen and just used to... Uh, Dread to think how many miles I clocked up on that thing. There we are. Lovely. Okay, Melt SCR is a screensaver. I think we have to put the screensavers in the Windows directory by memory. Yep, let's move that to there. And then if we go to Control Panel and we go to Desktop, we can change the screensaver to. It must be that one. Because that's not a standard Windows screensaver, is it? Oh, yeah, I remember this. It melts your screen. <laughs> Look at that. Now, this doesn't seem very significant now, but back in the day, having a screensaver which did something a bit out of the ordinary was impressive in itself. You know, normally you had a blank screen or text flying about. This grabbed your desktop and actually melted the shit out of it. Oh, that's amazing. I want that on my current computer. I wonder if it's compatible. Only one way to find out. Okay, so that's the two Windows programs off that disk. Let's move back on to the next disk. Okay, welcome back to the DOS prompt. It's good to be here. And on the uh, high density disk, we've got fish.zip lha.exe, which I think is a compression utility. LHA, 
yeah, it's a compression utility like PK Zip. So, yeah, there we go. That's probably not that interesting to look at. We've got rip.zip. So, uh, let's unzip rip.zip. Riptide! My, my, my. This sounds familiar. Can anyone remember what Riptide was or is? Edit readme.txt. Gameplay problem. Sometimes the Jason sub goes out of control and does not follow me. If a main sub is hit, Jason may malfunction. So this is in search of Dr. Riptide version 1.0. So, here we are. In search of Dr. Riptide. Mindstorm Software, Pack Media Company Limited. Let's dive in. Uh, story. Let's have a look at the story. Uh, these early titles used to have this little bit of uh, synopsis, didn't they? Text beforehand. You have been called into action to seek and destroy the undersea laboratory of Dr. Tiberius Riptide, a mad scientific outcast. You have been ordered to use any means necessary to put Dr. Riptide and his secret lab out of commission for good. A Jason submersible will be issued to aid your search. The Jason's small magical size will make it an invaluable asset. Alright, let's get on with it. Begin. Now entering Shallow Sea. Oh yeah! <laughs> Got a text, that's like something straight out of Deluxe Paint. Come on, you can do it, Riptide. Oh, I... I'm, I, I can't really remember this game. It must have been one I played a couple of times. To use the Jason sub, press Alt or Control. Okay, so that's to use the little sub, I guess. Oh yeah, here we go. Yeah. Oh yeah, okay, if we, if we go. We've got the tiny Jason sub. Let's shoot the barrels, they may contain something. It's a bloody massive coin in there. It's bigger than the sub itself. I'll be interested to, to know who remembers this game because it's kind of coming back to me all right we need the okay so there's a key up there i think i need the big sub to get that i've got a low shield though that does not bode well but i think i need to get this button in here okay that's done let's go back to the big sub no no wrong button no get away from me you bastards uh, no sound, I notice. I don't know if that is... Uh, maybe I've got the sound card set up wrong. Maybe it's just not configured. Let me see if I can set that up, actually. Sound. Currently on. I ain't hearing... Oh, I had the bloody volume turned off. <laughs> you lot can hear sound. There's me sitting here in absolute silence. It's working fine. Sounds like a bit of ad lib there. All right. Oh, it's quite funky music, isn't it? Okay, let's change to that sub. Let's get up there. I think I I must have need the big sub to get me. No, no! Ah! Oh! <coughs> I am dead. All right. Anyway, <laughs> that's quite a good game. Let's move on to what else is on this disc? Yep, and I want to leave. Riptide. Who was it by? Um, it was by Mind Games or something, wasn't it? I can't remember. Okay, um, what else is on here? We've got fish.zip, uh, Riptide, and that was it, wasn't it? So let's make a directory for, fi for fish. Let's copy fish.zip into fish. Let's pk onzip fish.zip. Uh, I think, uh, yeah, this is a Windows program, so back into Windows. And welcome back to Windows. Okay, disk three. I think this will probably be one of those screensaver things. Fish tank aquarium. Ooh, a rather nasty looking one. Uh, how many colors have I got? Have we, and 256 colors? Uh, let's... Now that's as much as it'll go. There we go. So we've got our little fish tank. So long, and thanks for all the fish. 
I seem to remember Al saying that on um, Happy Days. Well, that's nice, isn't it? The fish kind of bounce around. That's, they are just static images, and they just bounce off the side. It's a very simplistic fish program, indeed. Uh, what else was on disc three? Is that it? I think that's all we probably had. Yep, there we go. So that concludes Shoebox Floppies number two and three. Please do join me next time to find out what the hell else is on the rest of my discs. Thanks for watching. Good night.